If you're ready for cuteness overload, you're gonna wanna watch this video because a week ago, we added a brand new family member into our lives, <laughs> this little mini Australian Shepherd, Roxy. And we're gonna show you what a week in an RV looks like with a brand new puppy. Let's get to it. Uh, it's about seven in the morning. We had a great night with the puppy last night. She did really good, slept through the whole night, but now we're attempting to take her on a walk for the first time. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. It's really cool to document this and have it because someday we'll look back on this and go, man, remember when that puppy couldn't even walk? Doggy's uh, melting my heart. Little baby's running. Who, who would have known that, like, this little animal it just could seriously warm your heart so much? She's the sweetest little thing. What do you think, Sky? She's so cute. Well, I think I'm really shocked right now because this is her, I think, her first time ever on a leash, and she is doing amazing. We had a puppy before many years ago. And that dog, when she was the first time on the leash, she was not having it. And it was a long time before she actually would walk. So to see her, like first time, new people, leash, she's doing amazing. She's so smart. We just got our delivery from the farmer's dog. I can't wait to check it out. Why I'm so excited that this box is here is because as soon as we decided we were gonna get a puppy for our family, this little cutie right here, come here, Roxy. We wanted to make sure that we started her diet off right with the perfect nutrition that was gonna, you know, extend her life so she could be with our family as long as possible. So when I was researching Farmer's Dog, I saw the most amazing thing. This is made from real human grade fresh food and it gets delivered to you. So it's frozen, you could keep it in the freezer and it's good for weeks at a time, which for us and our travel lifestyle, it works perfectly. And this little cutie is so worth it. All right, so now let's see what goodies we have in the box. Oh, it says Roxy's feeding guide. Roxy, look at this. Oh, a little serving, love that. Oh my gosh. Long live dogs, Roxy, that's for you. <laughs> All right, and here's the goods. Roxy, look, Roxy, that says your name. All right, so here we have a beef recipe. It comes with a bag, look at that, that's awesome. Pork, another beef, and a turkey one. Roxy, and look, her name is on there. How adorable is that? So, Roxy is gonna be eating good, and I know that she's getting everything that she needs, which to us is probably the most important thing. It's like having a brand new baby in the house. She's only nine weeks old, and what I love about Farmer's Dog is they go according to her weight, and each one is portioned out so you know exactly, it's in fourths, so you know exactly how much to feed her, and you don't have to guess. So to get 50% off your first order from the Farmer's Dog, click the link down below. What's up next? Okay, so I can make her sit, she could dance, she could do paw, and she could spin around, and she can lay down, so far. So, let's see. Okay, Roxy, you ready? You ready? Come on. Come on, get out of there. Come on, Roxy. Okay, there you go. Okay, ready? First one is, no, nope. sit. Good girl. All right, that's trick number one. Okay, Roxy, dance, dance. Come on, come on. She can dance. Come on, come on, dance, dance. Good girl. Okay, that's two. She's really good at laying down. So we're gonna have her lay down. Okay, ready? ready, up? You're sitting, lay down. Lay down. Oh, good yeah, girl. She did it. The next trick is spinning. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, last one. Go get it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good girl. Girl, Roxy. Good girl. You did it, huh? Go get it. Let's go see where her hideout is. For some reason, she's taking over Ryder's bed, so. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Just having a puppy is very playful, and it's something really new for, for us. We haven't had a, a dog for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> messing up my hat. What are you doing? Oh, give it back to me. Give me my hat. Give me, give me my hat. <laughs> Give my hat back. All right, got my hat back on. No, give, leave my hat alone. Get out. <laughs> it's 
Dog is a handful, but it's a lot of fun. What are you doing? Silly. All right, guys, I love you. Love you. Bye, Roxy. Have a good job. Bye, Ryan. He's still sleeping. Uh, so we are heading from oh, Texas today. We got the puppy, so now we're off, and we're gonna head to Florida, and we're gonna go to this event where there's gonna be, I guess, 50 families and 100 kids, something like that, some kind of craziness. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's go. All right, guys, this is officially the first time we're ever traveling with our little doggy here. We're gonna say goodbye to Texas. We just picked up the dog in Huntington, and we're headed to Destin, Florida, about six, 700 miles, and now we're gonna break it up over a couple days, so here we go. Looks like Roxy's already acclimating nicely. <laughs> she is but that so being said, when you come back adorable. Now. All right, we're pulling over for a little uh, gas stop right here. Roxy seems to be doing all right on her little ride. <laughs> How's she doing? She is doing amazing. She just slept all over my hand and drooled on it, so she's doing pretty good. We are in Louisiana. Now we're in Mississippi. Mississippi? Are we going the right way here? I don't know. We better look at the map and see. I didn't think we were going to Mississippi. Alrighty. Time for a little break. Hit up the rest stop, stretch your legs, get a drink, eat some food. Is it bathroom break time? Uh, uh, sometimes these long drive days, my shoulder starts to lock up a lot. So I gotta get out here and stretch it out a little bit. Get the blood flowing, get the energy on. And get ready to head back out. All right, so this is kind of a trip here. We are driving to Florida. We started out in Louisiana. We went through Mississippi. And now, guys, we're getting ready to head into Sweet Home Alabama. Guys, look at the sign. Come on. Here we come, Florida. One day we what the heck is going on here? I got her a new brush. What are you doing, Roxy? Are you doing? Are you doing a Walmart shop? What, what's going on here, right? She she keeps on trying to climb up the cars. Roxy's in Walmart. All right, so we've had Roxy about a week here now, and we take her out for walks multiple times a day. And I think we might have a stubborn dog here because, or she's just very curious about what's going on, <laughs> and she wants to be picked up a lot. They say uh, mini, or they say Australian Shepherds and Mini Aussies are very dramatic. So once they find something that works, they keep on doing it. But a lot of times she'll just walk and then she goes, nope, I'm done. I'm stopping she right here. Stopped. I'm stopping right here and I'm not going anywhere for you, you can't yank on two or three minutes. Longer. Yeah. She's like, nope. Nope, not doing it. So. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him, Rexy. Go get him. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I absolutely love the way she looks from behind. Her little butt it just wiggles side to side. Especially when she's excited. Her body almost like turns in half. It's hysterical. Okay, I think we're wearing her out a little bit, but one thing that some people had mentioned when we said we were getting a dog and we live in an RV is, oh, you shouldn't get an Australian Shepherd. They're very hyper. They need a lot of exercise. But, oh, stepped out of my shoe. But, <laughs> What people don't realize is we are a very active family and the outdoors is our backyard. So instead of living in a house and we have a little backyard for them playing, we do tons of things. So she gets plenty of exercise. We are always outside. We don't like to stay in 350 square feet all day long every day. <laughs> we live this kind of lifestyle because we like to be outdoors. So. And another thing is too, when we go to work, we're in the RV, so we're always home with the dog. So every hour, hour and a half, we take her out for a walk to get some exercise. Well, so. Sooner than that. Yeah, maybe every 45 minutes and the kids are playing with her all day. Man, are you out of breath? I'm so out of breath and I see that about now. Are we walking the dog or is the dog walking us? Oh man. Look at this beautiful field behind us. I so know, we're gorgeous. not allowed to let her go in the grass yet because she hasn't got all of her shots and there's something called Parvo and uh, she's supposed to be fully vaccinated yet. So we got about another week and a half before we get set or loose out in the grass. And I am yeah. so excited for that because she is a runner. She loves to play. And I think she's like, she's feeling like, I want to go play in the grass, but she can't yet. So 
we have to uh, be more safe with her right now. But she's surely getting enough exercise and she's taking us, she's getting us higher. <laughs> So something about her hair is hysterical. Is it a puppy you hair? You can't you can't tell right now. Here, see that. She has these like puppy hairs that just go this looks like she got much higher. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> static electricity. Come here, Sally. You, you see the back hair the way it stands? It's like she's got a mohawk like me. Alright, here's what little Miss Roxy looks like after we go uh, walking multiple times a day. She's passed out on the floor. <laughs> just hanging out, doing her thing. What's up, Roxy? All right, I guess we'll leave you alone. You better get ready for your bath, though. We just got a brand new puppy. This is Roxy, and this is her first time trying to pup cup, which is whipped cream for dogs. Well, it's not whipped cream for dogs, <laughs> it's just whipped cream. It's her first Roxy. time ever having a pup cup. Roxy, like it? <laughs> Pull it out of your nose oh, if you like it. Let me do it for you. What do you think? Is that good? I wish I had a pup cup. I, I had no idea pup cups existed, so we might have to give her a little treat from now on. All right, what's going on in here? All right, bath time for the baby. Oh yeah, look at her. <laughs> she looks so much smaller. <laughs> right, what do you think? Right, look at the camera. Like, it looks like one of those hairless dogs. <laughs> you don't look the same anymore. <laughs> How you doing, Roxy? You don't look the same. What happened? She's like, go get million. me out of her. I know it feels weird, but you're gonna be white again. Like I know. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. What do you got here, All right, I have a clean puppy. Oh, look how fluffy she is. Oh, Show me her little body. See how she's fluffy shivering she is. a little, oh. but. Look at that little white chest. She looks so fluffy she and nice. She looks so fluffy. Uh, Roxy, Aww. you feel better? You feel better, Roxy? You feel better, little girl? Yeah. Okay, that's for sure. There you go. There's the shot right there. Oh. Aww, we love her. She's actually the most amazing little puppy I've ever met and seen. She's so calm, but then she's also really playful. She's super snuggly. So guys, what did we do? We got out there and did what? Tried something new. Woo! Definitely tried she something said new. It. She's she like, did. what she was said that? It. She's like, well, get used to it, puppy. She we got some friends talk. over here that we've been hanging out with, so I want to throw them in our video. What's up? What's up, guys? I'm Tristan. This is Julian. I'm Julian. All right. It's great to see you. Thanks for always being around. These guys are dying to be in a video, so we just throw them in a while. Subscribe to trying something new. <laughs>